Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am finally doing the most requested video. I do a lot of study content and people are always asking me how I designed my Anki. I'm gonna be going over how I laid out my Anki, how to design it, how to make it look aesthetic, how to use it if you've never used it before. I have my computer here opened on my Anki page. Okay, so I switched over to my laptop. I have my Anki open here. I have a lot of decks made because I have one for each of my classes for the fall semester. So I'm just gonna go over how I went about this. So it's pretty simple on the bottom here you can see create a deck import file and get shared create a deck is where you're going to make one of these decks over here so if i click on this and once i import it here you can see the biology tab right here and if i want to make a sub deck so sub decks are basically the chapters underneath that i have over here by just creating another deck if i add this in here i'm able to drag this class into biology and once I click on this plus button, you're going to see that it's created a little sub deck. So, so that's how I do this for all of my chapters, all of my lectures. I love using Anki for my lectures and making flashcards for every lecture slide so that I'm able to review it, especially when it's like midterms and exams. It makes things a lot more easier. And if you want to remove these, you just have to click on this little button on the side here and just click on delete. And once you delete that whole deck, it's also going to delete your sub deck. So be very careful with that because I remember making a flashcard deck and then delete deleting one of the decks which ended up deleting all of my sub decks so that's a big no-no so here i just made a new account so that i could show you guys how i do all of this in anki there are things called add-ons that means the background the heat map that i have over here it's just it has a lot of different features that you're able to add on to your anki to make it more personalized and more better for your use and if you want to add an add-on you're just going to go to the tool section up here you're going to see things like filter deck check media but you're going to see this option called add-ons and by clicking on that you can see here all the add-ons that i currently have and as for my background i use the custom background image and gear icon now the most important part to get these add-ons you're going to click on get add-ons on side here it's going to tell you to input a code you actually get these codes on a certain website this website's called ankyweb.net you're going to see a button on the top bar here called add-ons it's going to take you to this page where you can see a ton of add-ons there's a lot of cool add-ons that you can have here but the ones I used is the custom gear image background. Once you click on that, you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom. bottom, And you're going to see the code right here. It's going to say to download this add-on, please copy and paste the following code. You're going to copy and paste that code and we're going to go back to Anki. Once you click on get add-ons, you're going to put in the code. So once you go back to the default page, you're going to see something called, something called Anki King here. You're going to click on that and you're going to see the add-on custom background and gear icon, the one that you just downloaded. You're gonna click on that. Once you click on that, you're gonna be taken to this little pop-up and you're gonna see something called image name for background or image name for image name for background is the actual image that you're going to put on your um, Anki's dashboard or that home page. So to add that image, we're gonna go over here. It's gonna take you to your personal folder. Some of these are default ones, but some of them are added by me. And you can find these anywhere online, just go to Pinterest. But if I wanted to change this, I can click on any one of these. So once I exit, it's gonna change my whole background background to whatever I just chose. By the way, the backgrounds I use are the Aura wallpaper ones. You can find these on Pinterest. Just search up like colorful Aura wallpaper. So that's a little bit about the add-ons and how I really changed the aesthetic. But now I'm gonna go into how I actually do my flashcards. You can see that I have this little box around my flashcards. This is not done by Anki itself. You have to do this yourself. So I'm gonna show you guys how I really did this, how I went about this to make it look like this. So the way to do this is you're going to go to browse, this browse option up here. So I'm gonna go to my note types down here and I'm gonna click on basic. These are gonna show me all of my basic cards, which just means the front and the back of the cards on you're gonna click on any card that you made you can make a random card and just put it in there and you're gonna click on the cards option up here once you click on cards you're gonna see these like weird codes for the front of the card and the back of the card and you're also gonna see an option for styling and this is where you're going to put in a chunk of text which I'm going to show you right over here now I'm not some like coding master I don't know how to code I really suck at all the computer stuff so I actually just went into chat GPT and I literally just asked them like how do I put a card box around Anki and it's gonna give you this little code here which I have written on the side over here. The important part of this code is writing card box. The font I chose is 
um aerial rounded mt but you can literally put any font like times new roman whatever font you wish and you're gonna just put that in the fonts option you could also change the font size down here by just putting in whatever number you need but i think the main part that people were looking for was how i put the card box around the anki card so it's very simple you're just going to put in this code so i think to make this easier i'm just going to put that code in the description box if you want to put that into your anki cards and i think it'll just make it easier for you guys you just need to copy and paste that and put it in the styling option as well as in the front and the back template just like i did over here and trust me it works also you do have to do this for every note type so i did it for my basic cards but you're going to have to go to all of these note types down here maybe on your closed cards and you're gonna have to put in the same thing now i think i should have went through this a little earlier like how to actually use anki because i've been just describing what i do to make my anki look fancy so i'm going to teach you guys how i use anki and like what i I do when I'm making flashcards because I know how complex Anki is and it's really hard to understand when I first learned how to use it too during the summertime. So I have my pharmacology and toxicology slides open. You can see these options written down here. Review, I have to review 38 cards, but I also have 126 cards that I have not reviewed. They're new cards. I do have a midterm coming soon that I have to review. And what Anki does is it does space repetition. So these learning cards are basically the cards that need to be repeated. By clicking on add, it's going to give this pop-up you could see this option on the top where it says type this is just telling you what type of card you want to input here so there's a basic card a basic card is just a normal front and back flip i don't really use basic card reversed or basic optional reverse i generally don't know how to use them but i have used basic type and answer which is basically it's going to give you a question you're going to type in what your answer is and then you see the answer close cards is what i got confused with so i think i'm going to go over this one because this one is a little confusing and then image occlusion and image occlusion and enhance these ones are with a diagram i'm going to go over a close card i'm going to put a random statement in here so i have my statement in here and all you're going to do is highlight what you want to block off so photosynthesis is what i'm going to block off here you're going to click on the three dots and that's all you really have to do that's what you do for a close card so to add this card i'm just going to click on the button down here so basically your close card is going to look something like this and once you click the space bar it's going to give you the answer um that's basically what a close card is i love using close cards and also just using basic cards that's the main two that i use honestly i think that's all i really wanted to go over for my anki there wasn't really anything else i think it was mainly the aesthetic part of it but i myself have not changed too much of my anki anyways like i don't even know the most intricate parts of it but i think a lot of it comes from the add-ons so if you understand how to add these add-ons then for sure it makes anki look a lot more easier it makes it look a lot more aesthetic and it's actually fun to learn on it once it has a pretty layout to reiterate go to the tools option go to add-ons put in that code from ankiweb.net for the text box options and how i make my flashcards look like that i'm going to put that code that i talked about in the description box so go to my description box add that code in if you want your anki to look fancy i think it's a great learning app i love using it and i've been using it for my third year and i think it's really useful i feel like it can be time consuming if you are making the flashcards yourself but sometimes i think it's also nice to just review your slides and make flashcards yourself i think when it's like exam and midterm season that's when this is most useful because you're able to just speed run through flashcards before midterm or before exam. This was a very highly requested video and I hope I did answer as many questions that you guys had. If this helped in any way, make sure to like and subscribe and share this video if you need to. And I will see you guys next time with a brand new video. I make a lot of study content and a lot of school related content. So videos like this come out pretty often. I also have another video where I talked about five essential apps that students should use so if you want to go check that out i'll put that in the description box as well i did actually touch on anki in that video as well so if you need any extra tips or any refreshers you can also go to that video as well i'll see you guys next time with a brand new video bye guys